What is going on, Raptors Nation? Luca here, back with another video. The Raptors are fresh off a of victory against the Titans. They are now 2-0 this preseason, as the Raptors will look to make it 3-0 this preseason. They will be taking on the Chicago Bulls in Chicago on Tuesday night. I will have a post-game reaction following that game. And if you haven't checked out the post-game reaction to the Titans game, you can go ahead and do just that. Before we dive into today's video, do me a solid, hit a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel for more Raptors content over here on the Raptors Nation YouTube channel. We just hit 500 subs. Thank you for that. We're trying to hit 1K. As soon as we get there, the better it would be. So, uh, yeah, let's get into what I want to talk about for today. Jeff Dowden Jr. I mean, he finally got freed. We finally saw Jeff Dowden. It took towards the end of this game against the Titans to finally get some Jeff Dowden Jr. minutes. Jeff Dowden came in, played eight minutes, and he went to work right away. He scored eight points in those eight minutes. He was three of three from the field. He got to the free throw line, made both free throws. He had two rebounds, one assist. And Dowden wasted a little time getting his first basket. He attacked the basket, got the layup over two defenders. And as Darko Ryakovic wants to implement and has been implementing this .5 offense, as he wants his players to make quick decisions with the basketball, either pass, shoot, or attack. I mean, you look at Jeff Dowden Jr. in his game, he seems like a perfect fit for that type of offensive philosophy because Dowden embodies that he is a guy that we've seen in a short period of time with the Raptors that he is aggressive and he does look to attack and get to the basket and it just blows my mind that right now Dowden he is tied for 17th on the team in preseason minutes like this is a guy who I expected to see a lot more this preseason but so far we have not seen a whole lot of Jeff Dowden and there's only two more preseason games for Jeff Dowden to really make an impact on this Raptors team. And it would be a shame, in my opinion, if the Raptors lose Dowden, as he's too good to not get a spot on this team and to barely be getting minutes. I mean, I think he's definitely worthy enough for a roster spot. So Blake Murphy of Sportsnet actually beautifully outlined the Jeff Dowden Jr. situation with the Raptors over on Sportsnet. I'm going to try to paraphrase what he said, but basically out of the 21 players under some form of contract, Dowden is the only one who doesn't have a specific role for the coming year. He's on a non-guaranteed contract and Dowden spent the 2022-2023 season on a two-way contract and it was thought that his deal would be converted to a standard NBA contract by the end of the season, but of course that didn't happen. And then Dowden Jr. became a restricted free agent and many thought the Raptors would resign him to that standard NBA deal. But that didn't happen as Dowden did require surgery in mid-May to remove some loose bodies from his right ankle, which hurt his development time. And then the Raptors, in the meantime, filled the roster with the 15 guaranteed contracts and three two-way contracts. Now, in late July, the Raptors did sign Dowden. But as Blake Murphy explains, Dowden is in camp on a one-year contract without any guaranteed money. If he makes the opening night roster, his deal guarantees for 900000 If he were to last until January 10th, it would become guaranteed for the full $2.02 million. Now, the Raptors can waive or try to trade a player in order to keep Dowden. They have the space to do so. But it's so tough because, essentially, if you're Jeff Dowden Jr., you have such a small window, like I said, to prove your worth. You didn't get any playing time in the first preseason game. You barely got any playing time in the second preseason game. So something to look out for here is if Jeff Dowden Jr. does get a lot of minutes over the next two preseason games as he is fighting for a contract. And Murphy does say that if the Raptors cut Dowden, it's likely his next stop will be somewhere else, which would be unfortunate. Because of how G League players' rights work, Dowden wouldn't be able to directly go back to Raptors 905 as his G League rights were actually acquired by Delaware, the Philadelphia 76ers affiliate. Now, another path Murphy explains is that the Raptors could waive Dowden and one of their two-way players, then re-sign Dowden to a two-way deal. So overall, I think Dowden is too good for the Raptors to give up on, especially when it's clear that he's better than some of these players on this roster, and he would be a good fit when it comes to Darko Ryakovich's .5 offense. So I'm a big fan of Jeff Dowden Jr. I want to see him get 
a lot more playing time in these final preseason games. And it's going to be something that I'm personally looking out for because, as you know, the starters are not going to play a whole ton in these last two preseason games. It's going to be about the bench guys and a guy like Jeff Dowden Jr. to really make the most out of his minutes. But you look at Jeff Dowden's game, it's very complimentary to what Darko likes in his offensive system. It is mind-boggling now a guy in Jeff Dowden Jr. who's super talented who does a lot of good things is now put in a situation where he's on the outside looking in and he's going to need a strong, strong showing if he wants to remain a Raptor moving forward. But like I said, it would be disappointing if Jeff Dowden Jr. doesn't remain a Raptor and the Raptors end up getting rid of him. So we will see how it plays out. But Raptors Nation, do you agree with me? Do you want to see more Jeff Dowden Jr.? Do you think he's good enough to get a spot on this team and play more meaningful minutes when it comes to the second unit? Let me know your full thoughts down below. Hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more. That is it for me. I will be doing a post game, like I said, following the Raptors game against the Bulls. So definitely want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lucas signing off. Until next time, stay safe.